you know, and it's like I think of all the things that the people I know in life, the, you know, like almost everything has sort of come out of this band in some way or another. And sometimes, you know, you can almost feel the, the I like, the, you know, think of the idea of the band breathing, you know, but you literally can't. It's like the, the band is just sort of this, this huge, it's like it's its own animal, you know. Amsterdam, the kickoff. Uh, it was a fun gig, good improv, small spot, people paid attention. It was also cool to be in Zach's hood. <laughs> Definitely one of my uh, one of my favorites, I think. If you could summarize the show in one word, what would that word be? <laughs> Tiring. No. I take that back. <laughs> Calming. 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 bunch of new faces, people dancing, it was a great time. Um, I enjoyed that gig, it was fun. That was a, it was a great show, we had J John Jones is there for some shows in Tahoe, playing trombone. My name's John Jones, I've been playing trombone for about 16 years. Rojo's was cool, you know, I mean there were, there were people there who'd come out to see the band and like from, from other places who just happened to be in Tahoe. A lot of energy, a lot of people dancing the entire time, a lot of sweat, a lot of fun.
that every band gets to live like that. Um, the cast of characters, I won't even try to describe them. You can see them in the movie. I think the, the movie You, you, you did a fucking itself. great job. So all I can say is just look at that and smile. My instincts would have told me, like, do not do this gig. Why? Because it just seemed like it was, you know, it just seemed like it was... A no-win situation. A no-win situation. It was like, you know, it was, we were all tired from the night before, and it was like kind of early, and... Airport scene. Boy, I remember uh, telling the guys this, <laughs> we're going to play at the airport, and they were like, all right, you know, the airport, like, kind of tired, you know? My mom and dad had set this up. This is it. This is lag in full effect. So where are we going? South Lake Tahoe Airport. We have important things to do today. To a bright star. Well, you don't wear something to not be noticed. Yeah, right. But I don't want it to be obvious. It's like, not obvious. It's good.
airport. It's, uh, it's kind of empty. They may look the same, but they're handmade, so. Designs from local artists. So this gig could make or break us, is what I think, because a lot of bands, when they get to a gig like this, they sort of uh, they think, oh, I'm at an airport. How did this happen? You know, this is not this is not how I, I envisioned my career to be, but I say these are the gigs that make you who you are. There's a speaker that rotates inside of here, and it keeps getting stuck. So sometimes in the gig, I have to go reach into this hole and spin it manually just to get it going. And it's really getting kind of dirty and grimy around the screws. <laughs> Haven't cleaned this thing in a while. Probably a couple of years.
dead. Let me die. <laughs> Here you go. Bye bye. Oh, oh, thank you guys so much. Thanks for the food, too. Yeah. 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 Crowd. Really enjoy their music. They're a lot of fun. Put a lot of energy in their music. It's cool. Oh, they're great. They're great. I don't have any idea who they are. Animal Liberation Orchestra. Animal. Ooh, I like that. Are they cool. actually Animal Liberation? They're from San Francisco. From San Francisco? Cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> I could bring on a lot of things. I used to live there. <laughs> <laughs> they sound great together. They all. What's that word? Blend. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, maybe. Yeah, they're great. I'd like to see him in here again. Oh, found it out. We've been starving for entertainment like this for a long time. It's a welcome change. What you do is look around at the variety of your audience to know, all right? It's a variety of your audience to, to show that people want to see it. There's not, not, not many people around my age um, that, that play this type of music anymore. I got everything you want. Come on, baby. I got air. I got everything you want in the Lake Tahoe airport. In the airport. On the road around with the suitcases. Come on, baby. Come on. Don't say maybe. I feel the, uh, <laughs> the pressure already. Mulligans in Tahoe yeah. was one of, it was, it was, if I had to rate the gigs from highest to lowest, that was the lowest yeah. gig. Mulligans. Mulligans Tahoe. Mulligans Tahoe for myself. Well, we had played at the airport for about four hours, so a gig five hours later for a trombone player is pretty rough. So it was an interesting night for me. I got pretty tired by the end of the night. I'm sure everyone was really tired, it looked like. I can do that. That's not easy. Which was an example of what I was talking about. Not exactly what the booking agent or the owner had kind of pumped the club up to be. Um, being a Sunday night, they had said they had such and such artists always performing there, and um, maybe some miscommunication could have been on my part. I think it was maybe more on the club's part, but uh, they were. It was an interesting, interesting evening. We are the Animal Liberation Orchestra. What we choose to do is we choose to play our songs the way we feel like it at the given moment. Yeah. Which leads to a lot of uh, collective improvisation. Collective suspense <laughs> is what it really leads to. Momentary lapses of whatever. You guys, you guys definitely affect that. Whatever you do to us and for us affects what, we what happens. <laughs> the lights are affected by my voice. Amazing.
despite all that's happened, find a few hands and die. It's really dawned on me the last few weeks that I, I don't have the kind of uh, patience that I think I used to have. Why is that? I don't know what's happened to me. Something's happened, something snapped. I don't know whether it's the... I think it, I think it might have to do with commuting. But yeah, I've just noticed that my patience, this whole trip, I've noticed that it's just not... You know, I can compare it to like the last time we went on tour. And like, my, I'm just... I'm a little testy. Huh. You know, I just feel like my... I don't have the kind of patience that I used to have. I, don't, I want to get it back. What? Maybe I just need to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what it is. This could all be a, a delusion. Of, it's just weird when you notice that you've changed a little bit, you know? Yeah. You know, I want to be... I want to be easy and free, happy-go-lucky, you know? Yeah. I don't want to be like clenched fists and just like ah, you know just uh, like uh. I want to be I want to just be sorry <laughs> it's been delivered we're gonna get out of this town now
Zephyr in Reno was, was awesome. Probably my favorite gig on the tour. Was it? Yeah. Nice. Um, just a small little stage, the heater going like right, right above us, shooting down heat on top of us. Um, all the just the eclectic paintings and sculptures. Zephyr, like I said, is my was my favorite gig of the tour. It was, um, you know, strolled in there thinking, okay, it's like, I don't know, Monday, Tuesday night, something like that, in Reno, kind of on the outskirts. Like, what's this going to be, you know? It's, this, this is going to be totally random. Working on the Liberation Orchestra from San Francisco, in California. <laughs> We're very happy to be here at Zephyr's. Yeah. It's a cool place. Wonderful venue you have here. When I was in high school, I had a band, and my mother always thought we should call it Zephyr. That's what. <laughs> no, that's the, that's the honest truth, and that's what I thought of. He says that at every bar we go to. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm in search of a man. And I said, well, you should meet my roommate, Steve. Steve was taking a shower. Steve sounds like a very interesting gentleman. I said, oh yes. At that moment, Steve stepped out of the shower. And Heather turned to me and said, I believe I've called him. We can find out as we drive. <laughs> <Chamber. laughs> California Street, didn't we just pass that? That's what we need to get onto. We haven't passed California Street. That's what we're trying to turn onto. Turn right there. He is the instructor, this advanced reporting class. 
and then <laughs> They had a scene there, like a night, and we were we were guests. And Zach, as usual, did a great job of introing the band, and just he was the face people will probably remember because uh, he was the you know the front person accordion. Hi everybody, I'm Zach. Hi. Zach. Hi, Zach. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm, uh... Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm, uh... I'm the accordion player in the Animal Liberation Orchestra. And we're on our way to Utah for the next week, and we just happened to be here. And so we, <laughs> we heard Bohemian and we came. <laughs>
Like scared the hell of, hell out of me, you know. Like basically, the the story as I've been telling it is that you know we had sort of been, um, you know, we were hanging out at the, you know, we kind of went out to this Indian reservation, and I, you know, I, I was having qualms about when we were driving through the reservation. I kind of and there were all these signs that said no trespassing. I was kind of like, you know, I don't know if we really belong here. You know, this seems kind of weird. And getting out there, this we were with these people who were taking us out there. Were really cool, super cool, but we still didn't know them that well. We only met them like a day before, you know. And and it was just the whole place had such a mysterious energy or power about it. I think it kind of like took over in my mind, you know. I know no other people I've talked to who were there kind of had the same thing happen. They call me Red Snapper. <laughs> Did I call your eye? I drops, I drops. I drops. Call me out. Two fist. Sweet. Two fist and Red Snapper. <laughs> hands. <laughs> Let me join Wait. these hands. <laughs> I don't have three fists. Okay. Are you ready? Uh, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. That dagger. Ah! Unite, if we unite, we unite, we can be stronger. We're strong, only, we'll be stronger. If we only if we join. <laughs>
have the camera back, MP. Well, everybody, we made it to Park City. This is Mulligans. It's been a uh, an interesting tour. You know, I think that people there's been a lot of self-realization. You know, a lot of uh, people coming together, reu reunited after a long time with old friends and with themselves. Looking forward to the show tonight, but I really wish I could get this uh, accessory to my keyboard fixed up. So you need to plug it in and see what's going on when it doesn't fire up. Park City was great though. The people were totally responsive. Those were the type of people that I see us playing for often. It's actually the thing. That was the closest to the vibe of people, you know, I think a lot of the shows they go to, a lot of the music they listen to is similar stuff that we listen to or, or um, you know, things we would be matched up with. And so that was definitely the most at home. <laughs> starts to sort of tickle and I just sort of get this, I feel it in my in my lower chakra and I just, it sort of rises up and bubbles inside of me and then I just 
I just feel, I mean, you'll see it sometimes in my playing. There'll be those moments where I'll be sitting down and I'm playing, and then I stand up. The style just comes out everywhere, from looks to finger gestures, a little kick of the foot, you know, it's all, it's all style, it's one big thing. It's when you see me doing this, it's generally because there's been something that happened. Now, it can not only be the audience reaction, mm -hmm. it can be... Uh, the band, you know, the other day Steve screamed and that was really, it just hit me. Yeah, I was no, just like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and look what it does to you. <laughs> that was good. It comes out through my fingers, comes out through the amp. Whatever I do is my style. Uh, my bandmates play, just really inspires me. Get it going. Yeah, you guys are the best. The mushroom bagels. Yeah. I, 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 I'll do it. Did you have any pumpernickel bagels? No, I did not try the pumpernickel bagel. Take it from me. Excuse me. <clears throat> Take it from me, the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Thank you. It was a cold December. I forgot my coat and gloves I would have warmed up next to you But I didn't know who you was mm. Chili, 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 chili Chili, 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 chili Chili, 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 chili So there's no need to, it sounds better if you come closer, it's more fun, there's more space. The whole thing is just ridiculous to stay far away. Don't be shy, come close, come close, come closer. I want an extreme close-up. Yes, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. Very good, very good. Last night in Park City was great. Yeah. I liked it. I liked it more. I enjoyed it more than the first night. But uh, the second yeah. night, you know, we kind of slowed things down a bit. We kind of uh, took our time, and it really started to rock. Steven Ed Harris Adams. Woo! Oh, Eddie, hey, y'all can, can show more than that. Yeah. Come on, let's have a round of applause for Steve Adams. Woo! On the bass. Can't play anything without the bottom. Yeah, come on. Woo! Woo! On the for Steve. Come on. He deserves better than this. This is too good. You can't expect the no, Oh, 
Sickest song all night. My name's Chili, so I was happy that the band played that song for me. These guys are great, and uh, it was a pleasure to have them here for two nights in Park City, Utah, home of the lightest snow in the world, Wasatch Mountains, and I hope that these guys make it big. And I hope these guys do well because they're all really good people. Definitely hope to see them all again. Really enjoyed them thoroughly. Well, I was I was enchanted to tell you the truth, and uh, all I could think was that uh, this is contemporary uh, music and. Music is brotherhood, and that's what kept coming to my mind. These guys that just played in here have one of the most phenomenal sounds I think I have ever heard, definitely in this bar, and without a doubt, in my life. Great band in general, all extremely cool guys. Their manager is fabulous, the guy that's filming them is extremely cool, I mean... <laughs> it's a wonderful thing.